So here we are again at the drain. In the night, it, it rained really heavily, really quite heavily. Um, and yet again, the drain came and pumped it out. It comes out this drain here. It comes up from that drain. When it rains, it comes up from that drain and it fills this spot and it leaves this scum. There's no other word for it, smelly scum. Yeah, and it's definitely sewerage. You can smell it. It's not bad at the moment. Oh, when that begins to dry, and that's sewerage that is. And can you see now why we raised the garage floor? Because the garage floor is really nice and dry. I'm surprised it's come this far up, to be honest with you. The door shuts it and the ramp works. Can you see the ramp is working really well? Um, but I'd say this is a vehicle. There would have been a vehicle coming and going, coming through. So I don't think it comes in and floods. I, I think it washes in. You know, when a vehicle goes through it, it washes up. Mm, so that might be the actual height where the water gets, which is pretty close, but you know, at least it's still. And then this here, I'm, I'm guessing that's the wash, wash of a vehicle. So I'm not too worried about that bit there. Mm, but it's this, it's this scum it leaves behind, this filth, you know, and you can see it's, um, it's in all over it. Yeah. But can you see, if it kept raining a bit, it would wash, it goes away. The excess, oh, it's quite deep. It's the excess, can you see it? And what it is, you can see that it's paper, look. It's quite thick with paper. Mm. And that dries and becomes a scum. Yeah, I'm getting a nose full of it now. So it's not that this doesn't drain away, it drains away and it leaves all this paper filth. And of course you walk on it and it carries in. And in these COVID times, who knows? And like I say, the council say it's the water board and the water board say it's the council, but fair play, the, the environmental and the poly, poly, local councillor is beginning to take notice of it. Um, and a man did come with a big pump and a few men came and cleaned it out and they said that they'd cleaned a certain stretch of it, you know, so many feet or so many metres. And that should have done the trick. So, hmm, obviously it hasn't done the trick and it seems to have left a thicker layer Hmm, maybe it, maybe it drained out quicker, which left that here. Whereas maybe if it drained down a bit slower, it may have took this with it. Who knows? All I can tell you is it's still here. And that's why we raised the garage floor. And that's done the trick. That's done the trick just fine. So, um, this is nice and high. There's no problem with the greenhouse. Um, this year's project will raise this. It comes in here. The filth doesn't manage to reach here. It's still dirty water, but the filth is pretty good. <clears throat> it doesn't quite push this far in. Um, the water comes in. Yeah, it's, it is in here, look. We must have had a pretty big flood this time. Look, it's wet in here. Hmm, yeah. I reckon it must have really hammered down in the night. Hmm, but generally the filth doesn't make its way in there for whatever reason, however that works. And of course, this is, uh, this is the garage. We've raised this floor twice. And doesn't make it in, look. I know it's all very close, you know. Maybe bring one more light rate, right, height on this. 
maybe uh, I might just put one more thin layer in, maybe just the height of the wood as we're getting on. Hmm, we'll see. But anyway, yeah. But the next year's next year's plan. Let me stand in the corner here. This is going, and um, a bit more substantial structure, the same size. But this is going this year, and we're having a. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> That's next year's project. Next summer's project, that is. And of course, I'll, I'll raise it up. I'll raise the whole of this up. Put a big concrete base in there. Hmm. Yeah. So anyway, hmm. Disappointing, but at least the people are on it and the people are doing what they can do. That's all you can ask. They're doing their best. Because what happens, look, that dip there fills and then it slowly empties itself. It gently flows down here, look, and past here. I put that little wall in, that's done the trick because it used to come across here and go into the front. And it flows down here. <coughs> and this is the clean water that flows down here. Well, not clean, but the filth doesn't make it. And then it goes into the drains. So it's not a problem of draining the water away. It's a problem of it gets caught. I don't know if you can see, if I get a, <coughs> I don't know if you can see there, but there's a bleeding dip and it gets captured in that little dip. And it never used to happen. It's only happened since these houses are here. And my suspicion, being just a neighbour and been living here for 25 years um, is when they they've they've tapped into it or done something or done something they shouldn't ought to. This the builders in this place, the developers, and I think there was two sets have done something that has upset the balance. Mm. So today I'm going to fix it to the wall. I'm going to use. These rhino screw things, these, I haven't used them before. These are these concrete screws. Hmm. Uh, I'm using my uh, DeWalt, the 110. Like I say, you, 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 these are cheap enough. Get yourself one of these yellow boxes. The, these are, are these 240, 240 electric? They can kill you. Um, these 110, I mean, you've got tripping and all that nowadays, so you should be alright. Uh, the 110, these plug into there, these are the, what the workmen, the industry, they allow them on sites, they're less dangerous, you know. Do you get yourself a 110 box? So whenever you see a, a bargain, whenever you see a discount, or even if somebody knocks on your door and says, Hey, Reggie, look what I've got. Do you want it? It's cheap. And it's 110, you don't ask any questions, you just say, yes, thank you very much, I'll have it. Anyway, so, uh, and I'm using my favourite Dexian again. Um, it, you, you can strip it off so much stuff. Always, always pick this stuff up because it's so useful. And all I do is go one, two, three, cut, one, two, three, cut, one, two, three, cut the next one, one, two, three, cut one, next one. I'll just um, strip off the rest of these now. Make myself a whole load of brackets. And I do like, I am, I do like the tech screws. I've used all my old, old ones. So now I'm using these. Probably slightly bigger would be better, but because they, they nut screw drive, they just wham straight in. And they've got one hell of a grip. They'll pretty much grip anything. And, of course, they'll drill their own holes as well, won't they? So, uh, yeah. So what we're going to do is find ourselves <coughs> the middle of a brick somewhere. Whenever that's pretty much a middle of a brick. Drill it and just uh, slap a few brackets on it. Like what I do with these, look. Um, I just, it gives me the option to go there if I want to go there or here if I want to go here. There was. Mm, I think it's buried. 
I had a bit of a split in a wood. So all I did was just move along a bit. Just gives you that grip. I've done the corners because I had a piece. I thought, oh, I'll do the corners up like that. Yeah, I've got another another corner piece somewhere. Where the hell have I done? Oh yeah, up here. Because I had it, I just wham bam screwed it in, and it's 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 on and solid. Anyway, it, you know it's in pretty solid, and I've built it so it jams itself in. So uh, hmm, screwing it to the wall today. So I created a whole load of brackets. Uh, I chose the place I wanted to connect it to, which was sort of the middle, the middle of the brick. Put one of these um, concrete screw things in. Oh, well, no, drilled a hole first. Used the SDS, drilled a hole. Um, SDS, you know, these, these ones that can't slip. Masonry drill with a hammer drill. Got a box of these screws. They will go in a jar, by the way. They don't belong in a box. Anyway, only because it's a new box. Um, and then uh, used the um, the trucks driver, t rox driver, drove the thing in the hole, drove the screw in the hole, uh, and then got myself a a Tex Tech screw. I love them. They're really great. Really good grip. And now we're connected to the wall. So if I just go around and where there's it like there, that's a good spot because it's the middle of the brick. Uh, that's another good spot because it's the middle of the big brick. Um, if Okay, this is right on the edge. So I probably won't bother with that because there'll be somewhere else to connect it to. And I'll just connect it. And what was wobbly is now rock solid. It'll take the weight now. Hmm. Yeah. So... Uh, this that bit of wood was a bit further away from the wall than I expected as a bit of a gap so when I used one of these it was a bit too close to the edge of the wood for my liking no problem I just go and find a piece of this it's the same thing it's just slightly longer on the one side look hmm rather than this is more square isn't it so it's only this I want, so all I want is two holes. So again, use the um, use the SDS to uh, drill a hole. Then got the concrete screw, and drove that in with this one. Uh, so that drove that one in there, and then got one of the old ones. You know when you you take a if I took this for some reason, if I decided to dismantle this. Or get rid of it to change my mind i'd just unscrew everything and hang on to the screws because they're good stuff good things anyway and then got that and got the old dewalt the big dewalt and screwed it in there so my screw it's got better grip now it's on the concrete and it's more in the middle of the piece of wood that i'm holding yeah easy peasy <laughs> it don't look pretty but it does a darn good job so I'll just whack them in, round and about, and I'll be just fine. So what you can also do, because I love it, because you don't have to drill any holes. The holes are already there, and all you have to do is cut around them and be inventive. If you want to strip, you just cut the corner out. So here's a grip. It's a bit close to the edge there. I wanted to make this a slightly stronger one, so all I did was cut out a row of holes. Um, turn that bracket that way and this bracket this way and you can secure pretty much anything you want however way you want it hmm yeah you can do what you want it's brilliant 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 stuff for um, if you're um, if you're being a butcher where's the other bit yeah so you know you can cut a strip of holes out of it if you want it's a 90 degree bend, it's great for gripping, it's great for reaching, it's lovely stuff. I use it all the time, all the time, you may have noticed. 